Hello guys and welcome back to another Mega Crab video. We got the Cryo Crab that we are going to be attacking today and I have not attacked yet so hopefully you guys are a little bit more wise than me and are attacking the crab because it gives a lot of loot that I could have used earlier this week when I ran out of gold. But um, we're going to be using a interesting cryonier strategy that I have not seen before. It's probably been done somewhat in this fashion. But I'm going to be using four boats of cryoneers, four boats of zookas, and private bullet. And unfortunately, in the in the uh, the tribes, we don't have another cryoneer boost. I thought Boom Beach would like kind of sync that up, but I guess not. Um, but the strategy is going to be the cryoneers slow down all the buildings, zookas do the damage, and private bullets the tank. So um, this is stage one. Usually I'll just bar it down, but I kind of want to just see what happens and then probably the next few stages I will just bar down and have a good time but yeah the reason we decide to bring Zookas instead of all Cryoneers is because we all know Cryoneers don't do damage so oh look at that though a Cryobomb like took out my Zookas so we're gonna have to throw a ton of med kits to heal them up so that's pretty nice but I, I I guess we do have the temporary ability for Mega Crab of the Cryobomb so that's gonna be dope, but for for now, I, I did a super boost by the way because I wanted to. But since we just saw it, we will start barding down until we can't, and then we will actually go into some strategy. So stage two down, and we'll move on. I don't know, maybe I should have prepared, I should have pushed up to like stage 20 and started attacking. But also, I didn't really want to do that because I'm not sure how good this strategy will do so I decided not to do that kind of but the Cryoneers are super fast which might actually hurt me because private bullet won't be wow do you guys see that Cryoneer oh my goodness all right so we do have energy drink so we might have to pop that to get private bullet out in front but these Cryoneers are way too maybe we'll just use a cryo bomb to slow them down I guess that will slow down bullet too but I guess the Zookas will catch up after that. But we're going to lose a few Zookas to those boom mines. So that's quite unfortunate. That's going to be a lot of our Zooka fleet actually. But I guess they are good at taking out mines, right? Alright, so 200 some energy. We're just going to spam down barrages and take it out. Look at all those barrages. That, that was, that was kind of satisfying. But anyway, stage 3. There we go. And we, we will go into stage 4. Um... I don't know why I didn't try and bart that one down to begin with. I think I just kind of went into the attack out of habit. So we're going to do barrages down to 24 energy. Finish it off with artillery and that'll be an easy takeout with uh, with a few barrage bullets left. So um, probably stage 6 will be the first time I will have to attack. Maybe stage 5 um, where I, I won't be able to bart it down. But you know. It's nice taking out the first few stages. Alright. <sighs> These long bases might actually suck against whatever. But we're going to throw a bunch of artillery. That should take it out pretty easily. There we go. But since the Cryoneers are so fast, I'm going to struggle against these kind of bases. Because the Cryoneers will, will go way too fast. So honestly, the Cryoneer speed plus 50%. Might not even benefit anyone. So stage 6, we'll just throw some barrages down to 64 energy, finish it off with artillery. Are we going to be able to finish it off? Yes. So on to stage 7. I know, right? This is this is like great gameplay. Me just throwing some barrages at the, uh, the, the core and it gets taken out. We're getting some intel for once for the task force. So if you're in it, you're welcome. Usually I don't really do anything for the task force. Christian just wanted me to join so we could compare um, uh, warship things. And I was like, yo, okay. And then I, I don't attack in operations. And people don't like that I don't. So stage seven down the drain. This energy boost was worth it. Because now, now we'll be able to get to the higher stages faster. Because if I would have had to attack that whole base, that would have taken so long. But, you know, your boy here was smart and decided to boost. Hopefully your guys' weekend is going alright, posting this Sunday, so hopefully you had a nice Saturday. Um, so far, it's very relaxed for me. Only 
trying to pass the time until we do get back to the main screen because that took a while to load but stage eight and i think i will actually attack this one and we're gonna let private bullet run out because them crying is gonna be fast so and then for this we will throw a couple actually we could have just thrown a cryo bomb i forgot those existed so we will and that'll take out a ton of mines we'll throw another one, 143 energy how are we doing i really just want to slow down I, 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 yeah, I honestly think the Cryonier boost is kind of hurting my troops because then it just leaves them exposed to buildings longer. But, you know, it's whatever, whatever. Stage 8. Um, not as many troops are on the core as I would like, so it's going to take a few seconds. But we'll throw some artillery, try and speed up the process as more Zookas do target it. And we took it out fairly easily. I boosted every one of my offensive statues, so that's one troop health, four gumboat energy and three d or uh troop damage so we got some damage today and actually our damage isn't that great because we do have crying ears but our zooka damage is great all right so i guess we're throwing down our crying ears first here that was a mistake and we will have a cry bomb taking out probably damaging a lot of our zookas and nope it didn't actually reach so we're good and honestly i feel like a boat of medics instead of a boat of crying ears would really benefit but we'll see how it goes we got 172 energy so we're not really worried but we're just gonna throw some cry bomb try and take out some mines and such and then we're gonna throw a bunch of critters on the right hand side over here to hopefully take out some buildings if not just you know accelerate some things we're gonna pop energy drink make sure bullet is out in front we have some mines to worry about right here so we're gonna spam a bunch of med kits make sure azukas are okay um looks like the majority of the troops are on the left hand side where that core is and we will take out this base fairly easily stage nine that means we will be at stage 10 now yeah all right so stage 10 do i get an increase in my crying ear speed 75 percent so now it's going to be even harder to tame my crying ears and uh this base design will do fine against it. So we're gonna throw down bullet, we're gonna throw down our troops, and we're just gonna watch, whoa, they're too fast. All right, we're just gonna throw a bunch of critters, and then we will throw a cryo bomb around right here. And honestly, this base is probably gonna be easier than some of the ones I've already attacked. And we're gonna throw another cryo bomb right on the core there. That'll slow down the rock launchers and such. And then we will probably finish off with one more cryo bomb, an energy drink, and a shock bomb randomly placed. Two shock bombs randomly placed. And there we go, Zooka's hitting it. We've actually lost a few Zookas and a Cryonier, but majority of the Zookas are alive. So that the it, it went well. It went well. Took it out pretty fast, I would say. And that's the point. Alright, so seven Zookas gone. All right, we gotta train these babies up. Dr. T, you talking, talking smack to me? I didn't read it. That's how much I care. Didn't read it all. All right. Glad to know we're on the same page here. We're gonna let Private Bullet have a wild time before we do throw those ears down. And we will throw some cryo bombs. Mine clear a ton, which that's honestly what cry cryo bombs are honestly pretty good because they slow down building you have to throw them pretty early because then they'll slow down troops too if you do if you do um if you do accidentally hit them but honestly that mine clear if they had that in warships last season it would have been done so i get you know, uh, I, it was a grenadier meta so a lot of mines were already taken out but cryo bomb just one would have like changed a whole flipping attack so we're gonna throw another cryo bomb on that core and we have a decent amount of zookas and we got private bullet on the left hand side so it should be a decent time we're gonna throw a box of critters up there where that critter spot is and we should be able to unlock both and that should do some extra damage but it didn't because we took out that um we took out the shield generator and the core fast enough so um that attack is kind of more what i wanted like six crinears dead and then lower amount of zookas it's kind of it's kind of what it is. The Cryonears are the tanks, so to speak. They're not 
tanky. They just slow down the buildings to protect the Zookas. We're gonna throw down Cryoneers. First base design where it's one of these like loop things. And these are actually kind of fun to attack, I gotta say. We're gonna throw a couple of cryo bombs onto the field. Make sure we take out some boom mines. Our Zookas might potentially walk over if the Cryoneers and Private Bullet does miss. But on uh, Okay. So we've lost a Cryoneer so far, no Zookas. And in a few seconds here, I'm just gonna spam a ton of critters behind my troops. And there we go. Look at all those critters. Actually, that wasn't as many boxes as I thought, but that's still a ton of critters. So we will have a lot of defense. They will get hit by some splash damage, but since the Cryoneers are out there, the critters should be able to survive quite a bit. We got another box. 53 energy to renew another box of critters after the one I just threw. But look at that. All the Cryoneers teaming up, and now we get into the probably more difficult part of the base, but at the same time, maybe easy. And then we will throw in artillery onto those critter cavern type things. And that should be good distractions that, um, will, not, that will not kill our troops. So the cannons, because that's what I'm worried about. But so far, Mega Crit, I would say it's going pretty well, pretty well. Um, I'm going to try and stick with this strategy as long as I can. Look at those Zookas. They are a little bit low along with a little bit slow. So, you know. That was unfortunate, but we are able to take it out, and it did take quite a bit of time, but that's expected for that kind of base. A lot of buildings, a lot of walking, and now let's convert some stuff. I don't want to convert gold too much in case I need to buy some troops, but okay, we got a crowd bomb there, crowd bomb there. That'd be some good mine clear. Well... Not good, but it'll be some mind clear. We're going to throw three bo four boxes of critters to distract, and some critters will go for more critters. And honestly, I'm going to throw a shock here to make sure that splash defense doesn't destroy all my critters right away. It's going to happen eventually, but we just want to try and spawn as many critters as we can on the map. Let's get another building so we can get another box. And now we got a big line of defense in front of our zookas so our zookas will be pretty safe this attack we're actually gonna throw a cryo bomb and honestly cryo bombs you know i was like oh they're nice because they slow like i don't think it really matters this time at least with this strategy since we do have crying ears and i feel kind of stupid because i did not mention that or think of it earlier but um i guess it is nice because you can throw it out of range where the crying ears are it's kind of more of a preemptive one. But look at that Cryoneer speed. They are fast. Like, smoky Cryoneers. Should I try that in attack? I kind of want to. If I find the right base, I'm doing it. I don't think it'll work. That might be a waste of attack. I might not do it now. But they're, they're fast enough that they could get to the cores fast enough. But stage 13, you are taken out, my friend. And we're going to move on to stage 14. Uh, still under double digits for losing. I guess I was over double digits for losing troops in general. But um, I didn't lose over 10 Cryoneers or 10 Zookas. Which I would say is pretty good. And I got to take out that Cryo Bomb. So we're actually going to throw down on the right hand side here. And it's going to get a little messy once we do reach those flamethrowers, so we kind of want to get a solid D. But I'm going up the right hand side because there is a ton of shield generators up there. Along with a ton of critters that will be potentially epic. So, you know, it'll be awesome. Some of our troops are going to veer off. I don't, I, I don't like the looks of that. We're going to do a flare right here. Some of our troops are a little bit low. I think it's the mortar maybe doing work. Just something. So we're gonna throw a couple med kits. Make sure Azukas are nice and safe, because those those are the babies of this attack. We we gotta we gotta supply for the baby. But look at how many critters are spawned. All right, 207. Let's waste as much energy as we can on more critters, and then if we do get enough energy, we are gonna start throwing some shock bombs, which will disable a ton of flamethrowers and is awesome because then our 
critters that we spawned will stay alive a little bit longer even though they are starting to die off and then there is a group of three rocket launchers that will tear up my troops that I am gonna shock and that should be good until we get there but looking like our grenadiers are staying alive compared to what I thought I thought the flamethrowers would just be you know just cheesing on me but it doesn't appear they are doing damage to them but I think the zookas are taking them out taking them out quick enough that it's not too big of a deal and okay man we got some we got some crying ears getting ahead of the game um, it, it barely looks like I have any troops left but in reality I've lost three grand or three three crying ears but I have a ton low four <laughs> all right now I haven't lost the Zuki yet let's let's make sure none of my babies die here it might happen take it out quick no we lost two at the end there I don't care that we lost a ton of crying ears okay we lost that Zuka and we lost 16 crying ears and that was all at the end there I think the flamethrowers just whittled, whittled them down but we're on stage 15 let's attack it and see what we can do ton of shield generators ton of cryo bombs we're gonna throw a barrage and try and take a few out which should be a huge chain reaction there we go we got all of them in that area there so now we have like no buildings to take out so we're gonna throw down bullet we're gonna throw down our troops and we're gonna start prepping this attack ton of shield generators over here um that rocket launcher right here, I think it's able to reach. So we're going to throw barrage artillery. It should take it out. Honestly, I didn't need to throw that artillery. And then right here, we're going to throw a couple artillery. Try and take out some of the buildings. Um, throw a box of critters, I guess. We're going to throw an energy drink down too. And looks pretty good. And now our troops are wandering off. So we will throw a ton of critters onto the shield generators. And we should be able to take them out with time. But a lot of our troops are dying. Good thing we still have bullet to tank. But I guess a lot are dying. But they're also super spread out. And honestly it's getting a little shady toward the core here. And we've taken out a lot of the shield generators. So it's getting a little messy. But our Zookas are in good positioning. Unless they start creating a chain reaction. And final shield generators going down. Boom. And we will be able to finish off the the uh, the the core. So there we go. We got it. We got it. Stage 15. That that was getting a little sketchy, so I don't think the strategy is too good. But it got me through stage 15. But keep in mind that is not an impressive feat, but I'm just I'm happy we didn't lose an attack. That would have been embarrassing, but crying ears, Zookas. I, I I gotta give it the thumbs down. I thought it would be better, especially with bullet. And honestly, I think it would be better if crying ears didn't have that speed. I think they're too fast and they're getting taken out, but you know. I'm gonna wrap it up here. But if you guys did enjoy this mega crab or cryo crab video, if we're being technical, make sure you guys drop that like. Much appreciated leave some feedback down below on what you guys do think of this mega crab and we will see you guys in tomorrow's boom beach video bye